Hello. How to saw legs off a stool. After buying that stool off the clearance rack, you take it home only to find that it is just a little too tall to fit under your bar or countertop. No need to worry, by taking accurate measurements and making precision cuts, you can shorten the stool to the desired height. However, be aware that furniture legs are not always straight up and down, some are positioned at an angle. Be sure to consider this before cutting, or your stool's legs will sit unevenly on the floor. Instructions Things you'll need Tape measure Pencil Level Saw 1. Position the stool next to the table, bar or countertop to determine how much of the legs to cut. Next to the stool, measure up from the floor with a tape measure to the top of stool seat using a tape measure. Now measure up from the floor to the desired height for the top of stool seat. Subtract the second measurement from the first measurement to determine how much of the stool legs to cut off. 2. Place the stool on top of a level workbench, countertop or table. It is important that the surface is level so you will get accurate measurements. 3. Transfer the final measurement from step 1 onto the front, back and sides of each stool leg by measuring from the table surface and making small marks on each leg with a pencil. 4. Connect the marks on each leg so they continue around the leg. Examine the marks on the stool legs for accuracy. Make sure the angle of the marks follows the angle of the tabletop. Use a level to check to make sure the marks are level from one leg to the other. When connected by the level, the marks must read level for the legs to sit squarely on the floor. 5. Use blue masking tape to wrap each leg partially on and above the cut line. This helps to prevent splintering during cutting. 6. Cut the legs using a saw. Types of saw suitable for this type of cut are a circular saw, jigsaw and hand saw. If you don't have much experience using power tools, you might want to use a hand saw. Cut the stool legs one at a time following the marks made in step 4. 7. Sand the bottom of each leg to even them out a little if necessary. Tips and warnings. Place a drop cloth over the workbench before cutting to protect the stool's finish. Wear safety glasses when using power tools. Thanks for watching.